Matthew asked me to make a video about right for left. The rule is quite easy, but a lot of people fail because of it. They don't detect the road, where to apply it, they have problems to deal with it. So that's why this is the topic of this video. Here we go. We are in exam together and you are driving through residential area. Everything is nice, but suddenly a black car appears from your right. As you have already detected, there is no traffic light, no traffic signs, so right for left is the correct rule. In that case, the black car has priority because he's to your right. So you have to drive to it, stop here, let him go out first and then go ahead. This is quite easy because it was easy to see the road and it was even easy to see the black car. But imagine the black car is totally covered by houses and even worse, even the road disappears behind parking cars. Right now you get an idea why it's so difficult to see a small road from the right and detect right for left. Even the black car disappeared totally. So now let me talk about how to detect that road, even if it's nearly impossible to see it. Here we go. The easiest way how to detect a right for left is this sign. You will always find it close to the road that you are still able to take action. But in the most cases you don't have such a sign. So the next tip is watch down because often you will see lines like that on the floor. If you see these lines it is always a sign that behind of it will show up a road from your right. So pay attention. Be aware if you notice these lines. The third tip is watch out for street signs like this for example. Sometimes it's easier to see such a sign than actually seeing the beginning of the road. So watch out for signs like these. Signs like these? Hey, come on, that's a one-way street. No one can get out of this road. Why should I take care for right, for left? Mm, have you seen the sign below it? Bicycles can come out of such a one-way street. So even if there is no sign like this, be careful, drive carefully to it because right for left implies bicycle drivers as well. So drive carefully, there might come a bicycle out. But tell me, what should I do if there is absolutely nothing? How can I see such a road? Every road has a name and watch out for road names, signs like this. If there is absolutely nothing, you will still find a name for the road. It's a special sign, for example in white, it can be in blue as well, depending where you are. Make sure you pay attention to signs like this. This will help you to detect the road and to act accordingly. Now let's talk about how to deal with the right for left and the four steps how to convince the examiner that you're in total control of this situation. The first step should be pulling gently the brake down to slow down. After slowing down, the next step should be going into first gear. The first gear helps you to get slowly closer to the road to the right. Then be prepared for braking. We call it in German bremsbereit. That means stay with your feet over the clutch and the brake that in case if someone comes you can stop immediately and give priority for a potential car from the right. Now you are prepared to brake. So the last step out of four should be turning your head to the road to see if there's someone in. Maybe you can look through your eyeballs as well, but turn your head, then the examiner will see as well that you have noted that road on the right. So turn your head. If you apply all these four steps, the examiner will be proud of you and will let you pass if you don't make other mistakes. If you think of another difficult road situation, 
Describe it in the comments and make it the topic of my next video.